Hello, my name is Richard Zeremani. For the past 15 years, I've been the Director of Worship, Music, and the Arts here at East Liberty Presbyterian Church. And you might say, well, what does a Director of Worship, Music, and the Arts do? Well, you see where I'm sitting, and you see this monstrous musical instrument, sometimes called affectionately the Beast, here. Um, I suppose this is the way I'm most identified in people's minds as the organist. Well, I'm only part of the organist because we have, and we have had for a past year and a half, an associate organist who is also organ scholar from Duquesne University. And his name is John Tillian. And John and I share responsibilities for playing this organ, and there's another three manual organ in the chapel, and sharing responsibilities for preparing and directing the chancel choir that sings at all worship services. Now, what is this beautiful beast? This is the four manual 8,000 pipe Aeolian Skinner pipe organ that was originally installed in this building in 1935 when the building opened. After 70 years of much use, the, this organ was in dire need of repair. And so the Goulding and Wood Pipe Organ Company in Indianapolis was commissioned by the session to do a major rebuild of it. And so we still call it the Aeolian Skinner Goulding and Wood Pipe Organ. Well, it's a handsome piece of furniture to look at. Let me get off the bench so you can see the whole thing all at once. There it is. We have, unlike a piano, which has one keyboard of 88 keys, we have four keyboards here of 61 keys each. This top one is called the solo division. Next, the swell division. Next, the great division, the choir division. But that's not all. Because if you look down here, there is the pedal division, and there is another keyboard that the organist plays with his or her feet, and there are 32 pedals or 32 keys to be played there. That's an interesting thing about reading organ music. Piano music has two staves, one for the right hand, known as the treble clef, and the other for the left hand, known as the bass clef. On organ music, there are three staves, right hand, left hand, and a third staff just for the pedal division. So really, that creates an exercise for your eye muscles to expand to take in three staves instead of just two. You say, what do you need all these different keyboards for? Aha! Because this is an organ, but it's much more than one organ. It's four organs. Each one of these keyboards and pedal board represents a complete tonal palette, all its own. Well, we don't see anything that makes any sound. No sound comes out of the console here. It all comes out of the organ chambers, which in this particular room are located way up above us on what would be the fourth and fifth floors of the church building. You see some decorative woodwork and some gray organ pipes, but they're not really playing organ pipes, they're just decorative. And there are four cases like that. One on the pulpit side of the chancel, one another on the lectern side, and then two decorative similarly looking cases on each side facing the transepts or facing out into the congregation. Behind these decorative cases is the, the brains, the working brains of the organ. Eight 
8,000 pipes made of metal and wood, ranging in size from 32 feet. Now that's like a four-story house, 32 feet. You've got eight-foot ceilings in your house. All the way to as small as three-quarters of an inch, no bigger than the eraser on a number two pencil. And these sounds range from very low to very high. Let's see if you can hear something of the very lowest sound in the pedal organ. Now let's go all the way to the very highest, the eraser on the pencil sound in the choir organ. I'll start a little lower and work up to the top. Pretty soon the dogs are going to start barking and howling. Here we go, it's getting smaller and smaller. There you go. And if you could hear that, you win a prize. I don't know what the prize is, but you got good hearing. In between are all kinds of sounds, all kinds of pitches. The pedal doesn't always play that deeply. Pedal organs are usually thought of as thud, thud, thud. And sometimes they are, like. But the pedal organ can play melodies quite high up, like. That's with the feet. So pedal organs are not always thump thump. But when you want that deep undergirding sound, there's no other instrument all by itself except the grand pipe organ that can do that for you. Such as something like a big congregational hymn. Just play a little bit and show you near the end I'm going to really put the bass on here. Extreme, but when you want it, you've got it here. 